Right, this is another conifer hedge. I'm afraid I seem to get my fair share of conifer hedges. It's a domestic garden and it's the traditional outer shape hedge which the house owner is more or less give up cutting it now. And as you'll see at the end, it is probably the wonkiest hedge in Norfolk. Um, I did say to the lady if she'd like me to try and strain it out a little bit which would involve basically really leaving Grove Farm and she didn't want that she just wanted it cut so I've cut it to where they've cut it before as you can see it's not the best hedge in the world but that's the reality of day to day domestic hedges most of them are quite abused or very badly cut uh, we all like to do the formal pristine hedges which I do do quite a few but these basic domestic hedges are usually a bit rough should we say What you can't see is the back of the hedge has all been cut off by the neighbour which it seems quite common to find uh, which is a shame because you know it had potential to be a nice hedge but that's what happens All the hedges I do now are all domestic hedges. Um, I tend to shy away from commercial work these days. Uh, I've got more than enough domestic work to keep me going. And the reality is I'd rather cut hedges all day long than I would cut grass really. It's, um, it's the job I prefer to do. It tends to make you think a little bit more sometimes right and as you can see this uh, conifer has a traditional brown patch in it which someone's cut too hard uh, you go to a lot of places and people say oh, you know you've got brown patch in the hedge it's got aphid problems but nine times out of ten you look at it and you can see it's just been cut way too hard that or they've just cut it in a heat wave and it's, it's burnt back. Uh, I've gone back to my favourite hedge cut here. Um, I, I just tend to favour this one so much I find it so comfortable to use. Uh, because, because you've got your arms further apart I find you can carry the weight a lot easier than with a traditional hedge cut. But uh, I do try to use a normal hedge cut occasionally just to make a change this little ladder I've had for donkey's years now and uh, it's just so light and uh, easy to move around it uh, does turn to a step ladder as well it used to be a foot longer actually but I did cut a foot off it so I could slide in the back of the van uh, which hasn't been a problem to me but uh, I do carry a uh, five metre ladder as well which I don't use that often but I do have to use on occasion so but uh, now this little ladder when you've got to move the ladder a lot up and down hedges especially if it's an all-day hedge it's always best to have the lightest ladder you possibly can because you get in the afternoon and uh, your arms arms feel like a good drop off so it's always an advantage, lighter is good.
back to my normal hedge card now. Um, because I've got tennis elbow, I find with my favourite hedge card, you tend to carry all the weight most on the right arm. So I do swap occasionally to this one, which you tend to carry the weight on your left. Um, but uh, I, I, I never learn my lesson, I always go back the old ways. Ironically, this part of the hedge is the best bit of hedge. It's a lovely and thick lump, but it is the wonkiest part, unfortunately. I used a sheet on this um, when I was cutting the whole hedge to keep all the area clean. I find it's the best way when I can, especially on grass and over flower borders. It's actually a decorator's dust sheet. Um, I think it's about 2 metres by 4 metres. And I find with them, unlike the plastic sheets, it don't blow in the wind. So when you drape them over shrubs, etc. It stays where you put it. Where a lot of the plastic sheets, the wind gets underneath and lifts them up. You'll see in a minute, on the last shot, how wonky this hedge really is. It's uh, it's not a hedge I would take a photo of and put on my website. It it wouldn't look good on me. But uh, the hedge is the hedge is is what it is. The lady was happy, so. I think that's all about cut mount matters at the end. So thank you for watching and for subscribing, and uh, there'll be some more up soon. Thank you.